hello you guys hello how's everybody doing out there yes indeed today was another great beautiful day yes 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 this sunday has been marvelous and i know i can't complain and i won't complain <laughs> because it has been so beautiful you guys i mean it was nice today and i enjoyed it to the highest so i was busy after i got out of church i had to go to the store and you know um, I had to come out with my dish, baby. So I said, I want something different and bold and big. <laughs> yes, I did. I said, let me see what I can conjure up. So that's what I did. I cooked a big meal today. As if I'm, I don't know what I was thinking about, but I wanted something to go good. So that's what I did. So with further ado, Go ahead and share y'all what I had for Sunday's dinner. Start off with my ever-loving cornbread muffin. Yes, honey, my cornbread muffin from scratch. They're so pretty, you guys. <laughs> they are so beautiful. They are so beautiful, golden brown. Yes, they smell so good. And they came out real beautiful. And next, honey barbecue pork chops i didn't want no fried pork chop i wanted something quick and bake in the oven so that's what i did i coated them with some uh, olive oil and then i add my barbecue seasoning salt that i made um from scratch my ingredients you know um, paprika black pepper sea salt garlic powder onion powder and that's what in there paprika smoked paprika and a little uh, barbecue um rub seasoning that I mixed up in there so that's way they turn out so beautiful barbecue pork chop and I cut diced some onions up and coated it on top of my meat so they came out real good and they was tender too so that's barbecue pork chops cabbage honey look at that I put a bunch of green onions chopped up I half cup of onions. I sauteed the uh, onions and then I added it to a roll for my chicken broth with my smoked turkey meat. And I then after I did that, I added my onions and my green onions together and I let it season into my um, chicken stock. Sure did. And they turned out so good and it was smelling so good, you guys. And I put a uh, two clove of uh, garlic in there and it came out real good. Sure did, and two tablespoons of olive oil. So this is cabbage. Mm -hmm, look at that, and black pepper. Yes, oh, and some lemon pepper seasoning. Yes, I put some lemon pepper seasoning salt in there. Mixed in with my chicken stock, and I brought all that to a boil, and I let my chicken, uh, my turkey meat, got done into the chicken, um, chicken stock, and then I added my cabbage. And it's come out crunchy, because I don't like overcooked cabbage. Came out crunchy and beautiful. Look at that. Yes. And then, honey, string bean with potatoes. You know how we go old school. <laughs> string bean with potatoes. Smoked turkey meat. See, they came out so pretty. Look at that. Yes. These are some seasoning string beans. Black pepper. I put a little... Um, pinch of uh, pepper flakes, red pepper flakes in there. One tablespoon of um, olive oil. And then I brought it out to a boil and I did a half a cup of onions and two cloves of garlic and I minced that out together and sauteed it. And after I did that, I put the onions and the sauteed garlic into my, um, I put beef broth in these. So they came out real good, I put beef broth. See that beautiful turkey meat? Look at that. See, just a little juice. I don't know, I don't overpower them, I and I didn't overcook my beans either. And I have these rusted potatoes I cut up. So that's what that is, honey. Last but not least, oh boy, fried corn. Fried corn, yes. I had um, a little sea salt, black pepper, uh, about a half a teaspoon of a uh, little sugar in there. And I put um, a half a teaspoon of salt, sea salt in there. Black pepper, 
two cloves of garlic. I chopped that up and I did a half a cup of onions. I uh, mixed that up and sauteed the onions and garlic together. And then I uh, added two tablespoons of uh, purpose flour into my corn before I, I um, put it into with my butter because I had uh, put the butter in there first and I sauteed the onions and the garlic into my butter. And uh, after that, and then I add just a little milk into it to give me that little crisp looking, little juice, you know, because I didn't want it so dry. But that, and it's fresh ears of corn. It's not canned, this is fresh. So yes, this is what that is. See, fried corn. Look at that. Came out so beautiful, you guys, and it smell good too. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So that's what's up in Chef Dale's kitchen. That's what's going down in Chef Dale's kitchen. And I hope that you all had had a great Sunday and have a prosperous and beautiful Monday. Keep those prayers going and pray for the Williams and Poe family as we're about to lay uh, my um, former mother in law to rest. Yes. Rest in peace, Mother. We love you. And you guys, take it light. Take it easy. Be safe. Keep those blessings going and keep the love flowing. <laughs> okay, with that further ado, you guys, I love you all and God bless. And as always, bon appetit. <laughs>